How does social media impact mental health, specifically for minority communities? My name is Dr. Erica Steele. I'm a holistic doctor in family practice. I hold six degrees in my field, and they're all in the natural healthcare space. So I love social media, actually. Of course, I'm on social media, um, and I like the behavior of it. I like communication. But what happens when you're constantly a target? Um, I put something out, and boom, I've got 25 people uh, beating me up, saying, this, calling me this, et cetera. And how can I mentally uh, prepare myself for that, especially being a minority? Because over the last few years, people have been extremely emboldened to communicate their hate, their discontent, their discrimination, their bias, and it can be really painful. And so my suggestion would be naturally, we want to take breaks from social media. We want to necessarily not always be on it, checking it for approval. We want to seek approval within ourselves. The other thing is, is that if we feel angry, frustrated, or we're having a difficult day, it may not be a good time to go on social media and share that. There are certain things that we want to process through first rather than just trauma, trauma dumping on the internet. Uh, I know it's, it's convenient. I know it may be tempting, but it's not necessarily healthy. We want to make sure that we um, keep our healing private. And if we want to reach out to people, reaching out to them privately rather than blasting people on social media. We've all been having a good time watching uh, various different personalities here on TikTok. And so um, these can provide us a lot of insight into mental health and mental health behaviors, as long as we look at it that way. Now, if we take it in another direction and uh, we start to put hate, discontent, fear, uh, negativity, hatred, all that kind of stuff, then that's only going to affect us negatively, not necessarily the people we're trying to educate. So hopefully that helps uh, when you are trying to navigate your mental and emotional health uh, in with social media. So follow me for more.